everyone, so today I thought I'd show you my perfume collection. I've had a few requests for this. I do have quite a lot of perfumes, but I do have some favourites. I think that it's important that everyone has a signature scent, which I'm going to go into a little bit in a minute. Uh, so there's obviously so many different types of perfumes you can get. You can get really natural, clean smelling perfumes, you can get musky ones, then you can get really artificial kind of smells. And I think that you should always pick a per perfume based on your personality or something that represents you or a smell that you think if you were a perfume, what would you be? And that sounds a bit strange. But for me, I love really, really strong perfumes. I like perfumes that make a real statement, so I'm not really into really natural perfumes. Uh, sometimes I do wear them in the day. But my favourite kind of perfumes are either really candy smelling perfumes or ones that are really musky. So a bit kind of vintagey, just a really old musk kind of smell. So I'm going to show you through them today. Uh, I have a few favourite brands of perfume. I like a lot of the upscale kind of brands and I also like a lot of actually surprisingly cheap perfumes. You've just got to really spend a day and if you're looking for a perfect perfume for you and just really give everything a try because you may be surprised some of the cheaper perfumes might actually smell really nice and you might like them. Uh, although in saying that I find that the more expensive the perfume the better the scent lasts over the day. Uh, and then I'm just going to go into a little bit about how you can carry perfume with you in the day ways that you can wear it. So I'll start off with my all-time favourite. I may as well start from my favourite perfume of all time, which is by the brand Argent Provocateur, which is a lingerie company and basically they, they just make the most amazing, luxurious lingerie in the world. It's amazing. I can't afford it though. Very expensive. A couple of years ago they brought out a perfume and I fell in love with it and the first time I bought it was in just a little gift set and the gift set came with just the perfume and the, the perfume in moisturising, well body lotion form. So I just had the little bottle. bottle. And it wasn't long before I used up the entire bottle. Then I went and bought the big 100ml bottle of it. And this is my signature scent. This is my perfume that I always wear when I go out. I very rarely use a different one at night. This tends to be my just my all-time favourite. It's really, really musky, musky smell. Uh, it's really strong perfume. Uh, every time I wear it, people will always come up and say something like, what is that perfume? Because it's it's quite an overbearing scent. It's very strong. You can get a lighter version of it. You can get a uh, eau de toilette version of it, but I tend to stick with the original. And it comes in this porcelain bottle, which is a nice change from a glass bottle. And this is how they basically used to put perfume. They used to put perfume in per porcelain bottles like this. Uh, before they started doing glass bottles because it tends to keep the perfume at a better temperature and makes the perfume last longer. So this is kind of, it's nice that it has the little porcelain bottle. I just love the look of the, the bottle and the scent is just amazing. Very, very feminine. Uh, very, yeah, very powerful smell. So probably not really great daytime time perfume. Uh, I heard I heard from a friend that they might be discontinuing it, which I'm a little bit worried about. But um, I, you can get it for now. And since they released this original one, they've actually released a few different ones. They released one called Matrice. They did one called Strip, and they did another one which had was the original, but it has glitter in it, and it's the Argent Provocateur Diamond Dust perfume. So this is my favourite scent and I absolutely love it. It reminds me of, it's a real kind of pin-up retro perfume, really. It's just 
a really, really seductive feminine perfume. It's quite a pricey mm -hmm. perfume, but if you want to have a perfume that's really unique, then I recommend checking that one out. Thing is with the large bottles, as you know, it's really annoying when you're going out to have to carry one of those huge big bottles. So not long ago off eBay, I came across this, which was basically this set of three small bottles of it. That's perfect for me when I go out because you don't always take the hugest handbag when you go out. And basically it was just three little 30ml bottles of them and they're really sweet like that. And they came in little velvet pouches like this. So you can just put one of those in your handbag and then you basically don't have to worry about uh, lugging around that big bottle with you. So if you can get a smaller purse size version of your perfume, I recommend doing it because it's just annoying having to carry the big bottle and if you were to drop it or something, you'd just be devastated because it's 100 mils of perfume. So I have the small versions as well. And also when I got those delivered, they threw in this freebie for me, which was the lip balm of Argent Provocateur, which is really nice as well. So I've accumulated quite a lot of the Argent Provocateur stuff over the years because it's just my favourite. And I'll continue to use it and even when it's discontinued I'll find a way to get it because it's just a really signature scent. So that's my nighttime perfume. I have quite a few daytime perfumes. My main one that I use is Coco Mademoiselle. This is probably one of the most natural kind of smelling perfumes I use. I just really, really love the scent. It's quite a fresh smell. It's not overbearing. It's really good for in the daytime. And this was basically a little set that I got uh, when I went to Singapore. And you get three little refills with the bottle. So it's perfect. And you can basically put that in your handbag in the day. And then you just twist the top off. And then you can just refill it like that. So... This is a really nice perfume. I love all the Chanel perfumes. I'm a huge fan of, obviously, all the Chanel beauty products. And perfumes are no different. Uh, the perfumes have been around for such a long time. And speaking of Chanel, if you're going to get any Chanel perfume, if you want something that's really classic, and probably one of the most famous perfumes you could come across, Chanel Number no. 5. Chanel Number no. 5 is amazing. Marilyn Monroe used to be the face of Chanel Number no. 5 and it was one of the first, if not I think it was the first artificially created perfume. Before that all the perfumes smelt really natural, they all smelt of flowers and things like that but Chanel wanted to create a perfume that had an artificial created scent so this is a really really classic perfume. It's quite a strong perfume though and I do use this sometimes when I go out. It's All the Chanel perfumes definitely are up there in the price ranges. But something like this this perfume is going to stay on you all night. So it, this bottle is really going to stay on the test of time. This small bottle here actually belonged to my mum and I'm still, we've still got it. Like I'm still using it. Uh, she, luckily she gave it to me but I adore this scent as well. Uh, it's a bit of a more mature scent, but if you want a really classic smelling perfume, then Chanel No. 5 is another way to go. And another perfume that I love in the day is Yves Saint Laurent Baby Doll. And you can get it in a big, you can get in a big bottle, obviously. But I came across this, and it's so so cute. It's basically tiny little patty pans with the perf same perfume in it and they're just all dyed different colours, the, the actual perfume. So like here's a little blue one here. And again this is like Chanel uh, Coco Mademoiselle, really fresh uh, girly scent, actually quite flowery. Which isn't usually something I'd go for, I tend to go for a really powerful perfume. But it's nice to sometimes just have a fresh perfume on in the day, especially like in summer. So. Yves Saint Laurent Baby Doll I love and you can pick it up in so many unique packaging like I'll, they've done a few different styles of packaging and I'm really sold on that because it's really nice to put uh, pretty packaging, pretty perfume bottles on your vanity so I like that perfume. 